Faraz Khan and I am student from Sasayat Engineering and I am doing Electronics Engineering. Uh, this is our project uh, about uh, uh, automation of radio alarm drilling machine. This is our project. Uh, here we have uh, automated uh, a manual machine which is uh, sponsored by NCB Corporation. Uh, uh, in this machine, uh, uh, the workers have to manually control it uh, and uh, there are some issues about controlling it. Let's suppose if there is some error in it, uh, the whole part has to be uh, uh, recycled. It. Uh, this cost, uh, uh, this cost uh, uh, time and money. So. So that's uh, uh, then what we have to uh, did. Uh, uh, we have uh, placed some motors in it, which is the DC gate motor, and we have controlled it from uh, PLC. So we have uh, mounted the DC gate motors in our, in our machines, and we are taking feedback from the incremental encoders. They are situated right there. This is the encoder, and these are the uh, uh, DC gate machines. This is the control panel of this machine. Uh, this is the HMI. Oh, th this is the PLC, this is the variable DC drive which controls the rotation of the motor and this is all the, these are the con contactors which is used to control the motors. This is the uh, HMI which we, uh, what we have to do is that the workers have to uh, just uh, <coughs> uh, press the button on the HMI and uh, they, uh, it will work according to it, like this. Now uh, we are uh, controlling it manually. We are mount. Uh, we are taking the drilling up, and so this is the limit. And now we are uh, moving the motor on the x-axis. And now we are uh, moving up the bench. And now this uh, the bench is moving up according to the part. Uh, now let's suppose uh, we have uh, situated a bench according to the part and now we uh, we will situate our drill bit according to the part. Let's suppose I am uh, making the drill bit down. And now we have drill, uh, <coughs> we have situated the drill according to the part and now we will drill it. This is, it, this is complete. And by this exhibition and according to our work and the machine we have we got received a very good response and even uh, uh, we got a request for internship also so uh, yeah the, uh, this show and this event is uh, quite informative also as well uh, we uh, we got learn about the companies also uh, through which we can apply for and yeah it's very good I myself as Sayyid Muhammad Ali from the Sayyid University of Engineering and Technology from Electronic Engineering Department. I am a final year student of uh, this university and my, this is basically my final year project that is microcontroller based solar powered hybrid bicycle. It is basically have two sources of charging. One is basically the solar panels and secondly the direct 220 AC outlet. We have provided the option for the charging if you want to have the solar panel output, we have that and if you want to have the AC outlet, we have that. It is as an as industry is whole focusing on renewable technology solutions, so there we have, we have provided with, the, with this the solar panel solution. It is completely hybrid, completely eco green, it has no fumes. It is, its range is about 10 to 15 kilometers and its speed maximum is about 10 to 12 kilometers per hour. Now it's, uh, now coming to its working, we have provided with the speed selection buttons. Here is the stop switch and the second one is the start switch. When we press the start switch, it continues to run on its lower speed and when we 
the press that starts with second time it continues to run it's at, at its higher speeds that is about 10 to 12 km per hour we have completely completely used the renewable te technology for this this is a display area which uh, displays the solar solar panel outputs the battery output and the total rpm at which the system is running we are provided with the dc motors and the dc batteries the solar panel are charging the batteries and then, then the battery output is controlled through the microcontroller and then the output voltage is respectively sent to the motor input through which the speed can be controlled we have uh, taken that idea from a german scientist who have built his bicycle named as e rocket he basically used a permanent magnet dc motor about uh, 90 new, uh, newton meter of uh, torque which provided a speed of around 80 kilometers per hour but he have but he has a new solar panel technology but i have cho chosen the technology for the as, as the industry is moving towards the re renewable energy solutions so this is all about my project thank you assalamu alaikum this is sayed ramis ibrahim and i am here to present my final year's project um, we belong to sayed sayed university of engineering and Pro uh, engineering and technology and our project is boiler automation as you all know that boiler is a closed vessel that burn fluid and this fluid can be used for different variety of application in industry for example we can use in textile industry for drying the thread we can use it in automobile industry for cleaning the car exterior of car interior car we can also use it in pneumatic system as well as we can also use in in many other vast application sir here we produce steam on uh, control basis uh, we use plc to control our project uh, here we use a pressure transducer who and gives analog analog reading and uh, through this reading we control our heater analogously here we have a pump throw pump uh, we feed the water inside the bottle on uh, automatically and when the bar uh, pressure of two bar is achieved uh, the solenoid valve is open automatically and it releases the pressure when the level of the water uh, decreases the pump uh, start again automatically it again feed the water inside the inside the boiler and again uh, start producing steam Uh, we selected that project because uh, we are so, so much interested in industrial sector. That's why uh, we select project on uh, which based on PLC. And uh, this uh, exhibition uh, gave us a lot chance uh, to present our project in front of many people. That's why we are very thankful to our university. Thank you very much.